Hey guys, what's up? It is Heather with the Moscow. I know, long time no see. How you been? How's your mom and them? How's everything going? So, I haven't made a video in, I don't know, six months. What had happened was I got lazy. Also, got a bunch of dogs and I didn't train them to stay out of my garden. And so coming your way soon is what I'm gonna call an ungarden tour because there ain't no garden left in some of these places, but it's springtime, it's time to start some seeds. So let's go check out our seed setup, shall we? Now, disclaimer, every year, don't look in here, okay? Listen, this is not the place in my house that I'm most proud. I can tell you that right now, it's just not, okay? It's not, okay? But it is what we're looking, so just don't, don't look around. So every year I've been doing my seeds in my era gardens and I love it. It works great. They come out great. They look fantastic, wonderful, love it, no complaints. But I can only do like 140 and that's just not enough seeds. So I thought I would just break down and buy some grow lights and do it that way. So I got on Amazon because I'm cheap and I bought the cheapest grow lights I could find. And I think that might be my problem. So I've started a bunch of seeds, but y'all, I don't know. So let me show you what we're working with. We'll talk through it. You guys can comment in the comments below because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's turn it around. All right, so here we've got the full setup, if you can see. So I've got three tables. <laughs> this is such a mess down here. Y'all just don't look, just don't look, okay? And I've got these grow lights, okay? So here we've got um, Dara. They've been in here for eight weeks. This one's doing a little better. I mean, they're a little dry. I need to water them, but I'm, I'm starting to get real discouraged. This is my Snapdragons, okay? Like, sure, I could thin them, but could we get more than one set of leaf on them? I'm just saying. Could we get more than one set of leaf? Okay, they just don't look that great. They're getting water. When I went on vacation, they were watered, so either it's too cool down here, which it's probably stays above 60, or these lights ain't cutting it. So these are Snapjack, Dragons, and Dara. So if we don't get flowers, we don't get flowers, that's fine. But let's check out what we got going on here. They're the leggiest like seedlings you've ever seen. But I've got my cherry tomato, my Amish paste tomato. Like look how leggy this is, you know? Beefsteak tomatoes, sun gold. So I've got a lot of heirloom varieties in here, a black beauty, a striped German. Um, but I'm very concerned about them. Now they did get a little dry one time. This is a lemon squash. It's finally getting a second set of leaves. Look how leggy that is. So we've got a zucchini, like the seed never made it off there. These don't look so hot. Luckily they're squash, so they'll be real easy. I could even like direct sow them if I had to. I've got a rosa eggplant. Um, I grow two of everything to give my in-laws some stuff, but this one's looking awful. Tomatillo looking okay, but they're looking okay-ish. And I've got some jalapenos back here and some sashimi pepper, I think. Um, so, you know, it's not end of times, but like I say, they are super, let me not trip myself. Don't judge my socks and my shoes, people. Don't judge them. All right, so some of these probably just got dried out. Okay, so this got dried out. That's, that's fair, totally fair. This should be all zinnias. Zinnias here. And some of them are doing a lot better than others. Again, I do, I will water them here in a minute, okay? Like, trust me, water ain't the problem. And then here are a set of sunflowers. I wanna go ahead and start. And these are like the thickest stems, like goodness gracious, but leggy. So we've got one more table over there. Here's what I've been spraying, using to spray them with, or I'll get like a straight up watering can. 
I've moved all my seeds to right here. I tried to, um, these are anemones and neglected on that. Just, you know, there's a lot of don't look past it in this video, isn't there? So then we got this third set here. This is like ornamental basils to use and they're getting better to use for filler flowers. But again, like I say, everything is just so not doing well. Um, this one is the orange Hawaii marigold, which I really wanted of all the marigolds to have that one, but you can't have everything. Cucumbers, only one took, which is fine. Like I said, direct sow those. This is all okra, again with the legginess, but at least we're getting a second leaf. Yellowing of the leaves, is that too much water, guys? Is that what's going on there? These marigolds are looking good. Um, and then back here, I've got some Ruby Moon Hyacinth bean. Clearly, this one got too close to the uh, light here and burned. Um, but again, those aren't crucial. Bachelor's buttons, celery, straw flower looking fabulous. Hey, 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 hey. Black Knight Scabiosa leaving something to be desired. This one here is nasturtium. And clearly, these seeds right here were like... Three to four weeks. What happened though here? That's weird. It looks like something ate it. But these are nasturtiums here. And I think these seeds are just way newer than these seeds is the problem. But again, for the most part, everything is starting to grow. It's just not... They're real... Like, look at this. They're real leggy. I don't know. Maybe it's me. This is dahlias. <laughs> it's dahlias. Maybe it's me. Like I say, these, you know, might as well just give up on that right there. But they're there. They're growing. But they're just super leggy. So, again, the, like, setup I have, I was going for cheap because, you know, this here gardening hobby we have, it's expensive. So I bought these, I think they were like 30 bucks a piece. Um, maybe had a, and then I hung them. I got some S hooks and some chain off Amazon. Did y'all know you can buy chain on Amazon? I didn't, and then we have this thing, this rack that holds all of our crap. Um, and I just hung them off of here because I thought, again, this would be a super easy, kind of low expense setup where I could start a large amount of seeds. Got the seed trays, they do come with domes from Amazon. Each one of these has been started on a heat mat and then moved off the heat mat once it germinated. But I don't know, mixed results on it. I'm 80% sure it's the lights because I think that's what causes the legginess. So maybe if I had spent more on lights, I'd have been okay. So I don't know. That's where we're at. Like I say, for some of this stuff, like for example, the, um, for like, the tomatoes that don't take or any bell peppers I have that don't take, I can buy plants. But some of my heirloom tomatoes, that is what I'm most concerned about because I can't buy those plants. I can, Gin Fizz tomatoes, I bought the seeds two years ago and I planted them and they were my favorite. They're like a yellow, fantastic, love them, want to eat them, want to, you know, make, you know, you always dream when you're in the, getting ready for the summer and you're getting all your seeds together and you're like, I want a caprese salad. You know what I mean? I want to make some homemade mozzarella. I won't, quite frankly, because I'm scared that I'm going to get burned. Like you see people making cheese and they got to stretch it. It's hot. It's like if you've ever known anybody that makes homemade tortillas like the old school way, like their mama taught them to make, and they don't use tortillas, they don't use spatulas, okay? Mm -mm. Spatulas are not allowed. You use your bare hand to turn it. That burn is what I'm afraid of with the mozzarella cheese, but I digress, let's go back. Mozzarella cheese, basil from my garden, and a Gen Fizz tomato. Colorful tomatoes, you know, you want the medley. You want the reds, you want the yellows, you want all the colors. And you wanna be like, look, I grew this. I started it from a seed in my basement and I put it out in the yard and I let it grow and it was fantastic. Oh yes, I'm just everything. I grow my own food, I'm not everything because my seedlings are leggy. That's why I'm not everything, my seedlings are leggy. But I wanted to show y'all where we're at and what's going on and apparently that I live like a pack rat. Like, 
this is this is taking a turn but in any case that's what we're doing here in retrospect next year I will probably or I may do it a little later this year because I want to continually um, do sunflowers every two weeks so we have a nice long sunflower harvest I love saturated colors and flowers and sunflowers provide that zinnias provide that zinnias and sunflowers they're my jam some dahlias I've ordered some dahlias I will show you guys when they all come in we have started to get the backyard ready. We have fenced it in so my dogs don't eat it. Y'all remember, this is for another video, but we might as well. Y'all remember when I was so proud that I put all those hydrangeas in that front? They ate them, all of them. They ate every hydrangea that was out there. You know, all my drip tube and I have, I mean, one of my most successful videos out here is my drip. Well, we could make another one because I got to put it all back out because they ate it. They ate it. I love them though. They're super cute and I wouldn't change them but I, I wish they'd leave my plants alone. So I'm gonna work on that. That's gonna be another video. But moral of the story, this is what our seedling setup is and what it's looking like. And it's not super promising, but I wanted to show you guys where we're at. Been a long time. We need to get back to making some videos. We need to get back to chit-chatting every now and then. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this hot mess of a video. Clearly I'm out of practice. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Hit, comment something below if you know why my seeds look like this. Is it my lights? If y'all know it's my lights, tell me it's my lights and then link something, a better light, but not, not one of them high dollar lights. Like I don't want to have to sell a kidney to grow seeds. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.